Splish Splash, I was taken aback. Welcome back to Mega Man 9. Today we're fighting Splash Woman, who is the only female robot master uh, in the numbered series. Of course, some of the uh, other Mega Man works, such as the comic, uh, it's not exactly true, but regardless. So, Splash Woman stage, you're gonna start off by using Tornado Blow, kind of. Uh, I use it here, but it wasn't useful. Uh, Tornado Blow uses a lot of energy, because, of course, it is the screen nuke of the game. Sure, why not? <laughs> I mean, I really like Tornado Hold, but sure, I guess something had to be the screen nuke. Anyway, we're just about out of Tornado Blow, so <laughs> let's switch. So, Splash Woman stage. Visually, nothing you haven't seen before. Also, Jesus, how did I dodge all that? <laughs> what the hell? Uh, anyway, yeah, though, yeah, uh, it's just, you know, the usual underwater base. Uh, I do like how they change sort of the color of the water as you, uh, change depths in this area. That's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, as per usual, it's kind of like this water filtration plant or something of that ilk. Uh, again, you've seen it in Mega Man games. We've also got bubble platforming sections. Ride the big bubble, it won't pop. The smaller bubbles you can stand on for like a second, but then yeah, they explode. And yeah, it's pretty much just know where the bubbles are going to rise up. They are kind of patterned is the thing. Uh, they'll be set between uh, screen transitions. They always kind of appear in the same spot. Uh, they're all coming up from the same cracks and they're kind of uniform. And wow, that was a dick move. <laughs> Yeah, that section's just kind of eh. It's just a very boring background and some kind of rude platforming as well. Uh, it can be a little bit trial and error, but again, if you pay attention to where the bubbles are coming up, they're kind of just the same uh, position every time. And speaking of the same position every time, we've got moving platform sections. Just discuses of water are flung at you. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, let's see, anything else about the stage? Uh, music's pretty good. Uh, it's not quite as, like, energetic as the last two stages, and that's what I appreciated about those songs. But you know what? It's a good song. I'm kind of at a loss for actually describing it. I just think it's very nice. It's kind of atmospheric, I guess. And it's still catchy in its own way. As for Splash Woman, it's pretty neat to see the, uh, the... I guess one and only female robot master in the numbered games. <laughs> We're not going to be seeing any more of these, uh, 10 and 11 don't follow in this game's footsteps, but hey, we got a, a cool mermaid boss who tries to impale you with a trident and summon fish to try and tackle you, you know, as you do. Oh uh, yeah, it's just sort of neat. Uh, she's, again, kind of a little bit maybe like another anti-creates character, kind of. We'll see somebody kind of like her later. I don't think it's exactly a stretch, but also isn't, like, definitive. Like, Tornado Man, definite resemblance uh, in the character I'm alluding to. Uh, Splash Woman looks cool, but also, like, she's got a mermaid design. The other character who may or may not exist, also kind of mermaidy. That's kind of her thing. But, uh, yeah, we've defeated Splash Woman, who is... Surprisingly tricky to kind of get a hang of. Uh, she can very easily break your uh, dodge patterns, even though she's very patterned herself. Just moves very swiftly. It's kind of hard to deal with. We also got a weird gear from her, but more importantly, we get Laser Trident, which is a very good weapon. If anything's close to Metal Blade, it's Laser Trident. So let's save the old game and... Uh, Hey, what was that weird gear about? We don't have Dr. Light, so unfortunately our next best analyst is Otto. I mean, are we sure that Roll can't do this? I feel like Roll could probably do this. Alright, so a bit of scrap. Oh, so apparently this robot had uh, an expiration date, so essentially... Robot death. <laughs> and apparently Roll cares about the law, I guess. Ah oh man, it really sucks that 
you know, society tells robots when they have to die, but whatever. It's society. Well, let's never touch on this point again. Anyway, that was a Splash Dash performance. I... I must have used that pun already, right? There have been so many water bosses. Anyway, I know we're past the episode, but next time we kick a hornet's nest. Enjoy the rest of Splash Woman's theme.